Uh, glory to the Most High. Um, so I uh, just did a project today. Um, Draw these out uh, so I can get to the connectors. Um, I have a 800 um, a kinetic battery for my mids. Also goes from there to turn on uh, my relay, which is a 500 amp dual battery isolator. I will also be adding um, a wire that goes from this one. Uh, it'll go along the side of my box, along this edge and into this uh, splitter. This splitter will go around to these two amplifiers, which are going to be mounted on the back. They're dual four channel. Uh, two four channels, sorry, I guess not dual four channel, but two four channels um, to push my mids, which they will both be bridged to be ran as two channels. Um, and then um, I have this. I know this is unorthodox, but I'm just trying something. I'm seeing if I can run my system so it runs into the second battery which is a group 31 AGM basically. Um, and it goes into a 20 farad capacitor, um, which is a hunk of junk, uh, but it was just given to me. Uh, I was in an install, wasn't working. Found out that it was because the battery in the vehicle wasn't working. So it's my brother. So he just said, you might as well keep it. So what I'm going to try and do is use this to charge um, this will go to uh, this splitter, my six channels uh, or six input uh, zero gauge connectors to this Maxwell battery. This is 16 volt, 500 farads. It says that it has 1,096 amps of uh, current that it can snap out uh, for like five, 10 seconds. So it will drain pretty quick if I were to beat it. Uh, then I have my wire, so one will go in here. These two will obviously go into this one, etc. cetera. Um, and then I have to buy more ground wire. Um, so I have three more strands, which will also go to there. And then that will be grounded also to the car. Um, I am pushing a Orion, um, 3000 watt RMS, 3000.1 DSPLX. Um, we all know that these amplifiers are underrated, running down to half of an ohm, uh, 13,231 watts. Um, I believe they run up to. I will only be running this at 7,000. Um, I have three uh, 500 amp um, fuses that are all in line. It's all 100% uh, OFC wire. Um, 4704 strand. Um, this is um, OFC. I can't remember what they call it. Uh, with something special that's in it. Um, it's the best wire you can get right now um, out there. So I have that also, um, and pushing it into a 3.18 net cubic foot box. That's with the subwoofer included. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember what this is. This is 14 and a half by six inches wide. Um, port is 47 inches long. Um, the box is tuned for 36 hertz. Um, giving me inside the vehicle, I'm using uh, 42, uh, 44, 40, 42, 44 hertz uh, peak for burp burping but it's a daily listener hence why i have it tuned up at 36 hertz um the subwoofer that is going inside that is a hcca 12 uh four ohm coil dual uh two ohm uh 72 pound subwoofer um yeah it's uh my baby um, and uh, yeah, I have also on my fuses are dual 80s. I have bigger ones, but I figure 80 should be more than sufficient for these. These are RE Audio BT 900.4s. Uh, I think that they're one, one, uh, 220 or two something RMS um, between the two channels or uh, 
400 and something with the two channels so 200 watts per channel um, I could have went with a little bit different amps, but I'm pretty happy with them. They sound pretty good for what I have uh, for an entry level. Um, I do have some pow uh, extra power wire that I could use as ground, but I really am digging the black theme with these ones. And uh, it's XS, which this is sky high. It's zero gauge, uh, oversized OSC as well. Um, I'm just really a uh, big fan of the yellow or the red and the uh, black because it's really turning out nice with the copper just it's really nice uh, this will be sitting in my trunk like this you will see an update on the install uh, once we put it into the vehicle uh, I still have to put uh, a second set of door speakers in I already put one in yesterday uh, XTRs um, 654 Neos uh, very impressive I'm not overly excited about the base but they are brand new speakers so they just might need to be broken in but uh overall sound loudness uh very uh very impressive um so yeah uh, that's my system breakdown also i have to run new rcas and i am running eight eight gauge or uh sorry uh 10 gauge uh remote wire OFC remote wire and I am also going with uh, full tilt um, RCA's 18 footers I have to put those in as well as a line driver DSP so uh, that's my system uh, this is the only thing I have a complaint about that if I see anything in the comments I understand why because who puts a cap in there like I said it was free I'm just trying something because I'll have the extra wire so I can all I can add say a second battery and extend it later on so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, enjoy the mess that's how I work <laughs> uh, behind here and uh, yeah one love to everybody and hope that uh, they have a safe summer and uh, seeing that they lifted the restrictions because stop letting this government run our lives this is the way we're supposed to go out this is the way we go out um hope that you all enjoy and uh keep rocking out with the loud bass one love and uh glory to the most high